stage regulator contains two diaphragms and two valves. High pressure gas enters the regulator through the inlet into the first stage high pressure chamber or the first stage valve chamber. The pressure is indicated by the inlet pressure gauge fitted to the regulator. The gas fills the first stage high pressure chamber or first stage valve chamber completely. The first stage pressure is factory set according to the model of the regulator with a rain spring and exerts a downward force on the first stage diaphragm which in turn pushes the first stage valve stem open. This releases gas into the first stage low pressure chamber or intermediate pressure chamber exerting an opposing force on the first stage diaphragm. The gas from the first stage low pressure chamber is transferred into the second stage valve chamber. When the adjusting knob in the second stage is turned clockwise, it compresses the range spring in second stage and exerts a downward force on the second stage diaphragm, which in turn pushes the second stage valve stem open. These releases gas into the second stage low pressure chamber exerting an opposite force on the second stage diaphragm. An equilibrium is reached when the second stage range spring force acting downwards on the second stage diaphragm is equal to the combined upward forces of the gas in the second stage low pressure chamber. The upward force exerted by the second stage valve spring and the upward force of the gas in the second stage valve chamber acting on the second stage valve and the pressure is shown by the outlet pressure gauge fitted to the regulator. While the regulator is in use, the initial high pressure starts to drop at source as the cylinder empties. The reduced pressure in the first stage valve chamber means lesser upward force of the high pressure gas in first stage valve chamber acting on the first stage valve. Thus, the total combined upward forces of the gas in the first stage low pressure chamber, the upward force exerted by the first stage valve spring, and the upward force of the high pressure gas in first stage valve chamber acting on the first stage valve becoming lesser than the downward force on the diaphragm exerted by the first stage range spring. Now that there is less upward force on the first stage diaphragm than the downward force exerted by the first stage range spring, so the first stage diaphragm travels further down, making the first stage valve to open further, allowing more gas to fill the first stage low pressure chamber, resulting in an increase in the outlet pressure or the pressure of the second stage valve chamber.
Now, as the gas pressure of the second stage valve chamber increases, the equilibrium is broken at the second stage. When the second stage drain spring force acting downwards on the second stage diaphragm becomes less than the combined upward force of the gas in the second stage low pressure chamber, the upward force exerted by the second stage valve spring and the upward force of the gas in second stage valve chamber acting on the valve. This extra upward force acting on the second stage diaphragm moves the second stage diaphragm farther up by compressing the second stage drain spring upwards, making the second stage valve to close further, allowing less gas to fill the second stage low pressure chamber and hence the outlet pressure remains constant throughout the cylinder pressure on contrary to a single stage regulator. Once the cylinder is empty or the inlet gas flow shuts off, the outlet pressure drops to zero as shown on the outlet pressure gauge.